Camera number 253 of 365, and it's the turn of the Nikon F401X, uh, an auto focus, uh, auto everything virtually uh, camera, but does have uh, manual options. Uh, but to uh, operate the camera, it does require batteries to operate, four AA batteries, and uh, they're inserted in the base here. Now, just a note to user, I've had a few of these cameras come my way, and unfortunately, they all suffer from the same problem with this door. Uh, the little plastic latch either gets broken, or the base plate, the metal base plate where the battery sits, comes loose as it is here, but it's just holding on. And uh, the little, little uh, lip that uh, closes or seals the film, uh, sorry, the uh, battery door doesn't do its job, and that's the case with this one. But at least it's intact, and it was clean inside, and it worked, more importantly. So um, just something to note, as you can see, it doesn't uh, always uh, stay there. Uh, it did during the course of my use of it, but otherwise you have to put some black tape around it to keep it uh, in place. So uh, note there when you're uh, thinking about purchasing one of these. But let's just put um, four AA batteries into the camera. Let's hope we can get the uh, orientation right. That's positive. It's a little indicator on the base of the uh, compartment here. Okay. And then hopefully that will stay stay in place. Just a way to check it is uh, to turn the camera on. Uh, we just simply take the top ring here. It's got a lock button and there's the uh, the lock that unlocks those uh, two dials. And if we take it off there, we can then just check. There we go. So the camera is working. So while we're on the top here, I um, don't know whether you can see that uh, in the light. So we have uh, two dials. One is shutter speeds that go from one two thousandth of a second to bulb. And the other one is uh, an aperture ring. So the lenses we use uh, need to have an aperture ring and uh, or uh, we can use autofocus lenses without them. Um, but beware, you may have uh, limitations uh, in using the camera. In fact, the camera will take pretty much any Nikon uh, lens, but there will be uh, some uh, incompatibilities, so you may have to obviously manually focus manual uh, lenses. You may even have to use it in manual mode. So to get the full out of this autofocus camera, uh, I've got uh, a 28mm uh, autofocus uh, D lens here. And so by putting these two dials on P, um, then uh, the camera takes the uh, persona of a point and shoot. The camera will make all the decisions regarding uh, exposure and uh, um, so it chooses the correct uh, aperture and the correct shutter speed. Uh, otherwise, we can take it off um, on the top button if we move, leave it uh, in P and move it off here, we now can choose our own sh shutter speed. So the camera effectively becomes shutter priority. We choose the shutter, the camera will respond. As long as the lens is locked into f22, um, we'll choose the correct aperture for uh, exposure. Um, alternatively, we put it back to that uh, P mode and move the other dial now, we can now change our aperture and so it becomes now an aperture priority camera. And the third mode is if we take the all two dials off and now we're totally in manual mode where we choose the aperture and the shutter speed. The indications through the viewfinder is basically a green illuminated light for focus and a little red donut ring, if you like, for um, correct exposure. You don't get any um, uh, indication of what the actual shutter speed or okay so I hope that uh, makes sense so uh, the other buttons here we have uh, a ro rewind 
So uh, the camera doesn't, uh, when it finishes the film, doesn't automatically rewind. We have to manually do that by press, sliding the switch and pressing that down. Uh, otherwise the camera does advance uh, the film. And uh, the way we put our film into our camera, uh, you can see it's DX coded. So uh, no provision to change that. Uh, and then we have a timer, self-timer button where we can choose two options. Uh, one photograph to be taken every time we press it or we can have two photographs taken in uh, self-timer mode. So that's a useful little feature. And back uh, to the other side we have our film counter and uh, a little indicator in the window here showing that our film is actually winding on and we can actually see our film in the other window. And then uh, coming on the front, um, we basically have our, our lens release here. And then uh, we have an auto exposure lock. And uh, then we can choose from uh, auto focus or manual focus. And there we go. As you can see what I mean about the uh, battery compartment here, it just hangs on by a whisker there. So best to put that... Uh, Take that up, I think. Otherwise, I'll have uh, another camera that doesn't work. Okay. So there we go. There's a, just a brief overview of the uh, Nikon F401X, and that has been camera number 253 of 365.